The Vita is a system unloved by Sony, left to die after about a year of support. That said, the community for the PS Vita still exists to this day thanks to its modability, which makes it extra unfortunate that the Vita emulation scene is in such a sad state of affairs, which is why I'm giving this emulator its own video, its own time to shine in the limelight. If you like my content, please like, subscribe, share with your friends, and join my Discord server in the description below. As you may have noticed, I am now affiliated with the Steam Deck Discord. Links in the description below. Look at that. Not quite a Steam Deck video, but you know what? It's okay. So you may be asking, what the heck is Vita 3K? Well, Vita 3K is currently the only PS Vita emulator out there. What makes the Vita so special? Well, basically... It's the last PlayStation Portable that was ever made. The Vita could do a lot of things, including be backwards compatible with PSP games. Essentially, Sony stopped giving it support after about a year, and it was up to the third-party developers from Japan to make the Vita worth something. After those Japanese developers eventually stopped giving support to the Vita, it was up to the homebrew community to keep the Vita alive. Which is, you know, good for the hardware. It's good that you can still make use of your PS Vita. And despite this console being literally abandoned by Sony, this console's eShop is still going to remain open for quite some time. It's currently unknown how long they'll keep the Vita store up for, but I assume it'll probably be shut down within the decade. And as time goes on, hardware will begin to break down, and soon there will be less PS Vitas in the world than ever. And it would be a shame to lose access to all of those games. Which is why I'm bringing attention to this singular PS Vita emulator. Because currently it's the only emulator that can emulate PS Vita games. It's also like super work in progress. And almost all of that is due to the fact that there's just simply a lack of interest in emulating the Vita. Let's take another well-known emulator that came out around the same time Vita 3K did. Yuzu. Yuzu and the like are really freaking good. I wouldn't say they're mature emulators by any stretch of the imagination, but you can definitely play Switch games from beginning to end in higher resolution too. And graphical issues are minimal if you encounter any at all, for the most part at least. Vita 3K though, most games don't boot up at all and just outright crash the emulator. Case in point being Muramasa Rebirth, one of my favorite Vita games. Here's a game that's been confirmed to work on the Vita emulator. Valhalla. It's honestly really baffling though because I own this game on PC, so I could just be playing that version instead. This does end up proving that work is being done on Vita 3K, but not nearly as much work as, say, a more mature or more popular emulator. The goal of this emulator wasn't to expose all of the flaws of Vita 3K. Vita 3K is experimental still. The purpose of this video was to bring attention to the Vita emulation scene, or lack thereof rather. Vita 3K is open source. You can look at the source code on GitHub. My hope is that more developers will look at this and decide they want to work on this emulator, because quite frankly, it's kind of sad what happened to Vita emulation. The interest went down ever since Persona 4 Golden got a PC port, and there are a ton of Vita games that don't have ports on PC. Like Muramasa Rebirth. Yeah, I'm a vanillaware shill, sue me. Maybe one of you guys can translate this video and send this video over to Vanillaware. Maybe they'll port their games to PC that way.